Hey, welcome back. Ordinary old guy in the old garage, Jim here. And tonight, uh, cause it's getting close to dusk where the sun is already set here, um, is going to be my wrap up of the fitness influencers. In fact, it'll be a fitness flu influencers rant perhaps. Um, last one, last time. And so I think I should dive right in. I've covered a lot of other people. Um, some of those influencers or fitness influencers, whatever you want to call any of these people. I don't know what you call them anymore. I don't know what these people do. I don't know what I do. Um, somebody wants to say, oh, you're an influence influencer. Okay, I don't know. I suppose if I'm on YouTube and I'm talking, then somehow I've influenced people. So there you have it. Not a lot of, not a lot of high skill set there. All right, so let's dive in, right, with the people that I've done. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's cover those. All right, let's just run down the list here. Um, Mountain Dog One, Athlean X, Buff Dudes, Jeff Nippard, Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, Will Tennyson, uh, Renaissance Periodization, we're also known as Dr. Mike, um, and Jeremy Ethier, uh, Jesse James West, and of course, uh, Mr. Christopher Bumstead, Mr. Olympia, Classic Physique Champion, uh, and or just basically CBOM. And who haven't I mentioned? And who do I want to mention? Who do I not want to mention? Because there's a lot. I think the whole point of this when I started was I'm not working out and what am I doing here? And my channel's done nothing because my shoulder, I am starting some PT exercises finally. And so I'm getting a little bit hopeful. I may start to do things and maybe I'll take people along for the ride and just roll with that. Hey, over 50 and you can't do anything and you're completely weak and frail and fragile and incapacitated. Okay, it's not that bad, but maybe I can do that. Um, don't see how a lot of young people be interested in any of that, but okay, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's move back to the list here. So who am I gonna throw on here um, that is on here that I, did I write down? Okay, I'm gonna go with Jay Cutler. All right, Jay Cutler goes way back. In fact, I have a magazine. In fact, maybe one day I'll do a video on a magazine I have from so long ago before he won. I think it was the year before he won um, when he finally dethroned Ronnie Coleman, uh, as questionable as all that may seem or whatever and goes whatnot. So Jay Cutler. He does still put out video contents and when hear some kind of workout, he's working muscles, he's talking about things, he does a lot of different stuff, he goes on a walk, he talks to a microphone, uh, he does this and that and he's got all his stuff, supplements and things like that. So, um, you know, where can you go wrong with a big gigantic guy? He's still big, he's still, he's still big. Um, and he's older, right? And I think he turned 50, right? So or maybe he's gonna be 51 now, I, I'm not sure. But, um, so there you go for anybody over with the plus 50. Jay's still doing it, he's still cranking it out. How, I have no idea. Um, or the fact that he, he looks pretty good. Um, so I don't know what anybody these, these people are doing. That'd be cool, I'd love to know that. That'd be good information. How do you look like you're 40 when you're 70? You know, I guess, I guess you can't, there must be uh, those NDAs you have to sign, right? Yeah, okay, so I, I wrote down Seth Ferrochi and I've mentioned it before and I mentioned him way back. Um, a brutal workout, yeah, he, he will go back in time, uh, his famous thing, the whiteboard, if he's doing a whiteboard workout, can, can you do it? I don't know, I don't know who you are, so I can't answer that question. I know that I verbatim written down his white, whiteboard workout and there's no way. Um, you know, I think I would need a little help, if you know what I mean, uh, around that to be able to accomplish that. Um, there were some other people I mentioned. There's some people here that like, I don't know, you know, um, you know, people I've seen, people I've watched in the past and kind of, you know, drifted away from because it turns into just pure entertainment and drama and, and all this other stuff. And so like, this is where the rant part comes in here, okay? Um, will I mention another name? I don't know. I don't know if I want to mention any more names of people because going back and reflecting on this myself, not to mention the people that I would watch, how there's a lot of people I just don't even watch anymore because it's turned into, 
your brand, man. That's all it is. You know, hey, let's see what ordinary old guy, what jersey, what, what is this shirt I'm wearing? Hey, I, I, I got a sack of whey protein powder to sell you and whatever and whatnot and see me. Let me put out 5,000 shorts and talk about anything under the sun so that everybody knows me because all that matters is getting a ton of followers so that I can have a bunch of followers so I can make, make a bunch of money so I don't really have to have a real job and then one day I could be president. I mean, it's a, po it's a possibility. So, you know, um, I don't know where things are going from. Hey, let's go on this YouTube and look for some fitness stuff and learn something and be educated and inspired and motivated and all these things. I don't know about watching some guy eat a bunch of fast food. I don't know if that's making me want to work out. It's making me want to eat. Um, you know, all kinds of things. All these people on steroids, I, does it matter? I don't know. I, that's not helping me either, unless I want to be on steroids. So there's a lot of things there to kick around. There are, of course, other people that I do uh, enjoy. Most of those I have drifted away from. And if anybody has any interest in those, someone's going to have to say something. I know I'm just talking to me and possibly one other person. Um, so, and I'm not going to do stupid, crazy things. I'm not going to go do a review about, forget it. I'm not even getting in there. All right, so if there's some reasonable stuff like, hey, Rick, would you share, you know, anybody you like to watch that has to do with automotive things or just things you like to watch just to help you relax and calm down because you need that, right? Um, maybe I could share share a little bit of that. It's not going to be big. It's going to be very small. Um, and that's where it is. Okay, so I think we're going to wrap this up. I mean, again, there's a few other names on here. Um, you know, Anyone's welcome to comment and I will try to check back with you and I'll leave it with that. Okay, so we're gonna keep it short. I don't know if that was much of a rant and I don't know if you got too much more out of that. Um, and again, I think with all of these people, if you go to their channels and where and or you start to watch them and you look at the feed, it tends to congregate all of that stuff together. Except the random nonsense crap that I don't wanna see, right? That's on there. Like, why is this here? Why, here's shoulder workout. Why is this here? I know, I, if you look up shoulder workout, I'm not gonna show up. If you type in chest workout, I'm not gonna show up. You're not gonna see ordinary old guy. As no matter how much scrolling you do, it'll get to, there. it won't scroll anymore and you won't see the ordinary old guy there for a chest workout. But I made one, so, but hey, some other random crap that has nothing to do with a chest workout is sure to be there. So. Um, maybe that's a better rant right there. So anyways, hopefully we'll get somewhere. We'll get things going. I'm done with that. I prefer to do something a little bit more productive. The point of all of this in the beginning point though was to say, hey, here's some people to go check out. They might keep you motivated. They might inspire you. They might entertain you and keep you in that space that says, hey, you know what? I just like looking at fitness stuff. I like looking at working out. I like seeing what other people are doing and that looks pretty good. So you know what? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, whether it's on a huge bike ride or whether it's to pound some weights or if it's to go do some yoga, whatever it is, right? That like you see something, you see people doing things and you say, all right, good. And for the most part, the people I tend to share with you here are for the most part drama free other than some fringe aspects to this, okay? And I think I mentioned for some of these people, uh, I don't know, okay? But if you just want, you know, that's me. I'm pretty much chill in the middle. Let's just get the job done. Let's just do things. All right. I'll save the drama for everybody else out there. There's plenty of those. All right. So thanks for stopping by. And who knows what's going to pop up next? Am I going to actually be working out? Am I going to be sharing? I'm going to share you what's share what's going on with my shoulder. Am I going to make a comeback? Am I going to make a comeback? See what's going to happen here. And or am I going to like just do whatever? Maybe I'll show you. I'm going to I don't know fix a drain. And you can watch me do that. I don't know. Okay, so hey, any uh, comments there? Like, subscribe, uh, share, and uh, let me know what you might want to see too, right? Okay, so again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, come back again. Thank you.